In today's video, I'm going to be discussing the usual conventions you would see in an action film. Now, after watching iRobot, Fast and Furious, and Inception, I came to a conclusion of some of the conventions used during these films. I found that most of them were set in a big city and had a mission to be completed. Hence, there was always a motive. Also, I found that there was goodies and baddies. Specifically in iRobot, there was high-tech, big machinery. This film can also link into a sci-fi film due to the technology. Also, looking at Fast and Furious 6, there were Death of Loved Ones, which is seen through other films in the same genre. Particularly in Fast and Furious, there were lots of explosions and crashes. And in iRobot, we saw futuristic cars and futuristic motorbikes. Also, we saw weapons and knives, and also lots of fights. Now, action films are usually set in cities, with medium or low-key lighting to set a scene of suspense. Also, the films are quite violent, thus supporting the action genre. In this video, I'll be discussing the usual conventions in the horror genre. Now, in terms of mise-en-scene, horror films are usually set in very isolated areas. No hope for them finding somewhere to run and hide. Also, Pathetic Fallacy helps set the scene. In terms of rain and thunder, it helps create a certain mood and it can enhance the isolation. Horror film consists of weapons and antiques. These props help create a dark and sinister scene. In the film The Woman in Black, we can see in the house there are lots of old relics and antiques, making it quite spooky and setting quite a dark scene. So the colours used in a horror film are usually reds and blacks because they suggest danger and death. Also, lighting is a key aspect to help set the scene in certain horror films. Lighting is used to give an effect of something bad or something good is going to happen during the scene. For example, lights flickering and shadows are commonly seen throughout different horror films including The Woman in Black and The Paranormal Activity. It causes the audience to be scared and nervous wondering what is around the corner and what is going to happen next helping infuse the sense of suspense. Costumes play a big part throughout horror films and are an important aspect of the mise-en-scene. Costumes tend to vary in different horror films because they tend to have different stereotypical characters in them. For example, the blonde which is commonly seen throughout horror films and in the Hitchcock blondes is a very pretty, attractive woman that seems to be in a sense of danger. This factor has been a strong part throughout horror films history. We see it going all the way back into the Hitchcock films and we see it commonly used today. Finally, sound is very important across horror films because it can help build suspense. Exaggerated, diegetic sound can help create tension during the film. Fast, loud and surprising non-diegetic sound can scare the audience, making them jump or feel scared. For example, the music used in Psycho when the murderer is stabbing the woman in the shower. You can see the effect that the sound has on the film. It creates a sense of intensity. used in a horror film consist of 
Bibles, as seen in The Exorcist, a crucifix, also seen in The Exorcist and The Paranormal Activity, paintings ranging from old to new, as also seen in The Woman in Black and throughout other horror films. Usually the candles are used because of um, electric lights not working. Most commonly known are weapons to defend themselves from whatever is trying to get them. The props such as crucifixes and Bibles are a symbol of religion which could suggest that evil is the devil. Also this is a sign of defence from God, from paranormal beings. In this video I'm going to be discussing the usual conventions of a sci-fi film. The film is usually set in the future in an alternative timeline or is set in outer space as seen in the films Interstellar and Gravity. We usually see a conflict between good and evil. Also, we tend to see futuristic costumes. In this video, I'm going to be discussing the usual conventions seen in a comedy film. Now, the typical characters seen in a comedy film tend to be very idiotic, usually in a contrast with a group of normal people. It's a contrast of personalities and emphasizes the stupidity of that character. Above average intelligent people are used in the film to see two ends of the spectrum, such as Big Bang Theory. Money is emphasised by the fact that they are not smart and at the same time very socially awkward, but they are unaware of social boundaries with normal people. A common attribute within characters is sarcasm. Typical comedy films that show you a lack of intelligence are Forrest Gump, Dumb and Dumber 1 and 2. Step Brothers. Now the typical props seen in a comedy film consist of objects that may hurt the character. These props are tend to be are tend to usually be slapstick comedy because this is a vital aspect of a slapstick comedy. In terms of lighting for a comedy film, it tends to be very bright because this creates a realistic environment. Bright and happy colours are used to show that the scene is happy and innocent. The scenes are usually done within daylight. Now upon looking at certain crime films such as Seven, The Silence of the Lambs, I came to the conclusion of some aspects which I saw in both of the films. In terms of camera shots, I saw high and low angle shots. Angle shots usually meaning they are the dominating character over the person on the floor. The low angle shot shows that the person above them has the power within the shot. In terms of music, there is very dramatic music that creates tension within the scene and a sense of suspense. Also, there seems to be a female interest. Maybe this could be a sense of vulnerability within sexes. Lighting during these certain scenes is very low, creating a sense of suspense, and also maybe showing that something bad is going to happen. One of the primary aspects of these films are death. We see death all over different films, especially crime films. Also, in terms of mise-en-scene, we see lots of props such as guns, vehicles, and other types of weapons. I also came to the conclusion there are some stereotypes within these films. That the male characters are seen as strong, some of which are bad, important, and characters not necessarily following the law. Also, the costumes depend on the era in which the film is set. Now I'm going to be discussing the genres I like and the genres that I dislike. The genres that interest me the most are predominantly actions, thrillers, and dramas, because my inspirations have come from these genres and also I like the conventions of these genres and I had to take into account the practicality of making my film fit within certain genres and I think I could achieve a good film trailer using these genres. What genres I dislike? The genres I dislike comedies and war films purely because they are hard to achieve also sci-fi films are quite hard to achieve in terms of technology and software I would not be able to achieve this film. In terms of comedy it is quite hard to make people laugh and it's going to be quite hard to appeal to a certain demographic which will find the film funny. 